In this video, I'll show you how to optimize your learning. Languages. When we start learning a language, we know that to achieve success, to achieve our goals, whatever those might be, we need to be disciplined and we need to have or create a routine around our learning. So we need to, to set aside a certain amount of time that works for us um, on a regular basis. Now, what I see and what we tend to forget is that we also need to prepare ourselves for the learning. Very often I see, and I have been guilty of this um, myself as well, I go from one task to another, in this case, from one task, from maybe working or um, cooking or whatever, into learning without any clear transition. So I just sit at my desk, take up my apps or books or notebooks, and I start working on the language. This is not optimal, this is not ideal, and I tell you why. I am not relaxed, I am not centered and focusing completely on the task at hand because I have just changed from one to the other. So there is a little bit maybe of nerves that I am carrying from something that happened before I started my, my learning. So that's one thing. And the second thing, my brain is not ready. We know that we cannot learn well when we are nervous and when we are anxious because when that happens, our brain is half, <laughs> half shot. We are experiencing some sort of um, tunnel vision situation. And unfortunately, these days, very often, um, society is kind of in this survival panic mode when we are going super fast. Nerves and stress are part of our, our daily lives and we are not even noticing that we are not working fully, uh, that our brain is not fully alert because there are thousands of things in our mind. So the first thing that we need to do before starting our learning time, this 15 minutes or half an hour or whatever time might be, we need to relax our brain, to relax our mind and relax our body. How can we do that? So it can be something very simple. So in the moment you sit at your desk, before you start the learning activity that you have planned for that day, I invite you to take few deep breaths. So you inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And you'll see that with every single breath, your body is going to relax a little bit more. If you are still not completely relaxed, I invite you to meditate. That's something that I have been doing for a while and I see how it is a very powerful way of initiating a learning activity. I have recorded a few guided meditations for myself oriented specifically for language learning. At the same time that I am relaxing my mind and my body, I am also bringing some attention to my brain and telling the message that we are going to be doing languages and bringing some positive emotion to, to that language learning. That calm your brain, calm your mind, calm your body, so you can be fully alert. And how can you make your brain to be fully alert? There are few things that you can do to activate your brain. This is the Hervat method that I find is really, really powerful and it works very well. So I'm going to share with you the six steps. The first thing, drink some water, hydrate yourself. The second thing is breathing. You can just do a couple of deep breaths and continue with the third step that is to do balance exercises it could be something uh, very simple as to lift one leg and 
um, keep, keep your balance being just on one foot for, for just one minute. Or the next thing you can do is to move your eyes. It's um, a, an eye <laughs> workout. So you move your eyes, could be something like going up and down, to the right, to the left, or go in circles in one direction. That is going to activate uh, another part of your brain. Then we move on to the ear, so the listening. There are a few exercises you can do. Uh, they are normally discrimination exercises. So that is that you will hear different sounds and your ear is going to pick the, the different one. And finally, the last thing you can do to activate another part of your brain is the touch um, activities. This is better if you can do it with someone, but you can also do it by yourself. So if you do it with someone that um, the exercise goes as you would close your eyes and will have someone to maybe draw a shape or a letter or a number on, on your palm and you need to guess what shape it is or it can be done on your back and the same thing. If you don't have anybody to do this activity, you can still focus on your touch, on, the, on your fingertips and do the same thing. Draw shapes on, the, on, on your palm and then just without looking, just follow the shape. So that is going to activate another part of your brain. So, what so we have done with these two things that are not going to take more than 10 minutes, you are calming your mind and your body so you are relaxed and you can fully uh, pay attention to the task at hand. And the second thing, you are activating your brain, you're activating these parts that you need to be fully awake and, um, and alert to, to learn, to um, successfully achieve the learning that you want for these 15 minutes. So it is completely worth it to spend these few minutes to, to prepare yourself for the learning. So I hope this helps. Um, share with me if, if you try or if you have done something similar, um, how it goes. I look forward to know. And that's all from me. Bye.